What is the Maharashtra Karnataka border dispute and why does it keep coming back in the news? We simplified for you in just 10 slides. Let's go back a couple of decades. Pre-independent India. As per 1881 census, the population in the Belgavi district stood at 8 lakh 64,000. Around 64% of the people spoke Kannada. 26% spoke Marathi. This was the historical linguistic composition that was considered during the reorganization of states after India's independence. In 1947, Belgavi district became a part of the Bombay state. By 1950s, the linguistic population of Belgavi changed. The population of Marathi speakers in Belgavi district gradually increased. After the state's reorganization act of 1956 was passed, Belgavi became a part of Mysore state, now known as Karnataka, despite there being more Marathi speakers than Kannada speakers in the region. according to the 1951 census this is where the tussle began marathi leaders and politicians in belgavi and maharashtra demanded that belgavi and other settlements surrounding it be integrated into maharashtra maharashtra invoked clause 212b of the states reorganization act and submitted a memorandum to the central government in 1957 objecting to marathi speaking regions being a part of karnataka maharashtra claimed over 7000 square kilometers 814 villages and three towns belgaum nipanni and karwar in 1966 nearly a decade later the center finally constituted the mahajan commission to look into the dispute the commission's report came out in 1967 and recommended that 247 villages and belgaum were to remain with karnataka and 264 villages were to become a part of maharashtra maharashtra rejected the mahajan commission report while karnataka satisfied with the report demanded immediate implementation maharashtra ekikarana samiti was formed with the sole intention to integrate belgaum and other towns and villages into maharashtra and the disputed region saw many violent protests between 1960 and 1980 Maharashtra government moved the supreme court to settle the border dispute under article 131b of the Indian constitution in 2004 rejecting the Mahajan commission report the case has been pending in the apex court since then